Hi, I'm just doing a quick video to test out uh, some things I'm running now. I have a Cloudera Edge Manager running, and I have a uh, Raspberry Pi out there with the uh, Minify Java agent, the 120. I'm going to update that to 121, but right now, just to see what's, uh, what's running here. No alerts here. It's in good health. See if there's any events. Yeah, I pushed out a recent flow a couple minutes ago. Got our uh, results back. And we could see uh, when the agent's online. Lots of cool stuff there. And we can manage all the different uh, agents we may have. I only have one out there right now. You could see the config for that. Commands, what happened recently. You could uh, go into debug mode and uh, lots of cool stuff there. Nice UI here. Then we can go and design our flow. If you've been using the Cloudera data flow, you might see uh, <laughs> where this might have uh, been uh, sourced from. This is the original. So I'm connecting to the local ADSB on my. Uh, my machine here on the uh, Raspberry Pi. We look, you can see the plane traffic going overhead. This is hosted on that uh, Raspberry Pi and we can access that data. That's the easiest way to grab that stream. And I'm grabbing it just every 30 seconds. And I'm gonna apply a uh, user agent so I know the source of this. And if the data is not empty, I'm gonna send that to my NIFI cluster. I could have done a remote process group, but I'm just going to do a post uh, for my environment. That's fine. I could do SSL, whatever makes sense. I'm also going to grab uh, tail this file I have, and that file is being populated by a Python app that's uh, connected to all the sensors in that machine. And like before, we're going to set uh, an agent so we keep them separate. Now, if I change this, I could uh, publish that, but I didn't change anything. If I need any services, get add in here. Again, if you saw that uh, data flow, things are gonna look uh, kind of familiar. <laughs> Pretty similar idea, same with parameters. I don't have any parameters, I probably should set some. But that is deployed, and as you can see, it's monitored out there. And that was updated uh, seven minutes ago. So let's see if we're getting data in. We'll go to my uh, NIFI here. And this is the listen that's connected from that other side, as you saw, data 9199. And you can see a couple of records coming in. And there's multiple types, as you could tell by the different size. The smaller one are the individual uh, JSON records for those sensors. And we could take a look at a record if you want. There's uh, one for aircraft. There's, uh, let's get to a smaller one. There's one for the uh, sensor. Pretty straightforward. And we have the coming out, I had that paused right now. So we get them in here and they're distributed based on what type they are, whether they go to uh, thermal or ADSB or doesn't match any of them. We'll just hold that there. And let's go to where they're going to, as you can see here, keep it simple. ADSB, have it come into the edge. I split the record out, get the fields I want and then split it again, extract uh, just the fields we want. Here I'm adding a uh, timestamp and unique ID. Then I'm gonna filter this out uh, where there's Latin long is not null. So let's turn that on. As you can see some records have been waiting and we're pushing those along. I'm gonna delay that a second. Also gonna open up another NIFI window, show you uh, other source of data here down to the sensors. And that's pretty straightforward here. Here I've got uh, that paused. I don't have a uh, query here for that yet. I gotta think of that, what I wanna do there. We'll have to uh, do that in a minute and then we'll show that coming in. So I'm gonna start up these uh, queries, one for sensor and one over here, but until we get uh, this data coming from here into Kafka, nothing's going to happen. So we got Kafka running there. 
got Kafka running there. And we'll see, we already have uh, data coming in. I've got it just doing a sample of the data every uh, second. And this one's doing an aggregate. So that's coming in. And we could check out uh, ADSB here. It's in uh, Avro. So using the schema, make that uh, clean. So we could see that. Uh, then we'll go over to the Pi sensor and come back, make sure things are coming in. Right, again, Avro, because we have that topic. And we've got data coming in there, and we could see that coming in as each row shows up. It comes into here. I think we're already out of data, but we'll see more data comes in here every 30 seconds for... Uh, air traffic and well, like every second or two for the uh, Pi sensors. And we're sending that uh, record along. We go get the data provenance and we could see that, yeah, one record per thing is coming through. So coming through nicely, got that data coming through. Same thing over here, another record, another one shows up here, another one shows up there. And we could do an insert into something else. We could create a uh, materialized view if we want from here. And you would go here, uh, pick up a primary key here. Oh, what do we want to use? Maybe we could use ident. Uh, and enable that. Recreate if the job starts. Got to create a new API key. And then uh, add a new query. And we'll just call this uh, Sky. And we're going to grab uh, all the columns. Why not? I like all these columns. We'll create that. Now we've got a materialized view for that one. We could do the same thing over here. We're uh, pick the, U, the uh, primary key. And then uh, create an API key. We'll want a new API key here. And add our query, and this is sensors, and we're going to pick all the fields. Why not? Well, uh, make sure. Yeah, I don't care about nulls. Yeah, I want that. Okay, that's cool. And then once that's loaded, that'll uh, be available over here, and it's still refreshing. But as data coming in, pretty straightforward. And we've got uh, the schema we mentioned for that one. And we've got the schema for uh, the other one. Pretty straightforward, just the fields we need. And those are continuing to run off of uh, this one over here, which is good health. If we wanted to uh, change that, we can go into the flow and change that. You know, Maybe we can uh, change how frequently it's run or check, add some other checks. You know, we got a ton of processors here for converting, checking, uh, and grabbing other sources of data, grabbing from a database or FTP, lots of things you could do. And you could add more processors here, or we could use the, uh, uh, the C++ agent, whatever makes sense for you here. We could query a table, you know, lots of options here. That's the quick demo. Thanks for uh, checking it out.